You have a long history um, of believing uh, that your religious uh, beliefs should prevail. But over time, we learn to also judge what they think and whether their thoughts enable them to be free to observe the law. So in spite of the fact that you had written in an earlier article that Catholic judges, and you would be a Catholic judge, uh, you would not recuse yourself from death penalty cases. Well, then let me pose uh, the question, then if you were uh, not up for a circuit court, but in for a district court, would you recuse yourself as a Catholic judge from death penalty cases? Why is it that um, so many of us on this side have this very uncomfortable feeling that, you know, dogma and law are two different things. And I think whatever a religion is, it has its own dogma. The law is totally different. And I think in, in your case, uh, Professor, when you read your speeches, um, the conclusion one draws is that the dogma lives loudly within you. And that's of concern when you come to big issues that large numbers of people have fought for for years in this country. I want to ask you about something that happened this past week. A conservative group, in fact, several conservative groups, are accusing you of being anti-Catholic because uh, you were questioning one of the president's judicial nominees, and you talked about the fact that dogma and law are two different things, but that dogma lives loud, loudly within you. Can you explain what, what happened? Well, first of all, let me say this. I'm a product of Catholic education. Um, from the Convent of the Sacred Heart. I sat in doctrine classes for four years, five days a week. I think Catholicism is a great religion. I have great respect for it. I've known uh, many of the uh, uh, archbishops that have been in my community. We've had dinner together. We've spoken together over many, many decades. And I've tried to be helpful to the church whenever I could. Having said that, uh, this is a woman that has no real trial or court experience, and therefore there is no record. Her, she's a professor, which is fine, but all we have to look at are her writings. And in her writings, she makes some statements which are questionable, which deserve questions. For example, and this is pretty much a, a near quote, it may well be that a Catholic judge uh, cannot be independent. Um, uh, this is not a direct quote mm -hmm. because I don't have it in front of me. But it was something to necessitate us to, I thought, appropriately ask about it. 